folks, I'm Norkin, I'm Deputy President and Student Welfare Officer here at Student Life. I'm here to help students um, with all issues to do with welfare, big or small. Um, one of these issues that comes up every single year is accommodation. So I'm here to give you tips on how to handle the minefield that is accommodation in UL. First thing I want to say to you is don't panic. Between on-campus student accommodation, off-campus blocks, private houses and digs, there were more than enough rooms to fill for every student who's looking to get a house next year, so please don't be stressed. But do take it seriously, do start finding a place now, so when it comes to results being out, you're not going to be stressed. Every year we release an accommodation list on our social media, make sure you keep an eye on that when results come out when we release it. Check out studentliving.ul.ie for the full list. Be wary of scams when it comes to getting rooms, Oftentimes, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Whenever possible, go and see the house that you're being offered before you pay any deposit. If a landlord is serious about giving you the room, they'll have no problem showing you the property, they'll have no problem giving their contact details, their email address, their telephone number, so take them up on it. All private residences have to be registered with the Residential Tenancies Board. If you're ever in doubt, go on portb.ie, put in the address, and if it hasn't come up, then you're probably looking at a dodgy landlord. If you are any bit wary of the landlord, make sure you ask for ID, just should have no problem giving it to you if they're serious. More and more students every year are opting for digs because there's a really good advantage to it. Here's Amanda, a recent graduate, to tell you all about what digs is about. Hi, my name is Amanda and I just finished my final year in UL. I first lived in digs in second year of college. It wasn't really at the top of my list for choices, but I didn't like the accommodation I was in and it was a last resort for me at the time. But it turned out I really enjoyed it. It was probably one of the best semesters I ever had in college, particularly grades wise. I found that it was really like a home away from home. You get all your meals cooked for you in the evening. I saved loads of money by not buying food shopping. I didn't think I would be able to go out as much as I normally had, but that wasn't the case at all. I got to go out just as much as I ever did and I got dropped in like the place and everything so I didn't have to pay for taxis. I guess I really was lucky with the people I fell in with, but highly recommended it for anybody that's going looking for accommodation in the coming semester. So moving to college and living by yourself is the first time a lot of students are going to be financially independent, they're going to have to learn how to budget and how to save. There's a few things to remember with that. If you're going to be paying a deposit, oftentimes that deposit is non-refundable, so make sure you're certain about the house before you take it. Just know that it's completely normal to be asked about a month's rent plus the deposit up front. Between the student on-campus villages and some of the off-campus blocks, it's normal that you can be asked for an upfront large payment, so this is just a normal thing to be aware of. If you're dead keen on getting student accommodation on campus, make sure you book early because it books up really quickly. It's a huge waiting list first. It's fantastic, but make sure you get in there really early if you want the second year. So housemates is always a big worry for every student every year. Just remember, everyone is in the exact same boat. Everyone is only there to make friends, and I can honestly say the strangers that I met in first year in student accommodation are still my best friends now that I'm finished college. So one good thing to remember is that communication is key. Set up a rota, set up boundaries, set up what's expected of each other, so there'll be no you know disagreements further down the line. Before you move in, make sure you sign a lease agreement with the landlord, just highlighting the terms and conditions of your rent. When you do move into the house, the first thing you should do is take pictures of absolutely everything. If anything is broken, take a picture of it. When you're trying to get your deposit back, you'll use the pictures as proof from your landlord. I know it's a bit of a minefield out there when it comes to combination, but just know that there are loads of supports and resources available to you. You can go online and go on threshold.ie. It's a huge household charity that have great student support there and really student friendly. And of course, absolutely everyone here at UL Student Life is here to help. Myself, Jenny, our student information support coordinator. You can come in and talk to us about anything accommodation related or absolutely anything and we'll do our best to help you out. Don't let something small turn into something big. Get into us early and we'll help you sort it out before it becomes a big, huge problem. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoy all the points. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the page to see more and learn more about student life.